Welcome back to the Hawkeye Garage. I am Joe. We've got the GX470 back in the garage now. It's been almost two years now since we brought this home, and uh, not too long after that, I made a little video where I complained about all the little things that I hated about it. Um, one of which was the lack of cup holders. First world problems, yes, I know. Um, but not too long after that, I was able to work with a buddy of mine who had a 3D printer and was pretty good with uh, some design software. We were able to print up and add a couple cup holders to the center console trim panel that goes around your four-wheel drive shifter. Within the last year, I became familiar with uh, a company called Blue Dog Design Works. If you watched some of my older videos, you will see I've got their cup holders on my back doors. Uh, I have the trim panels on the lower fender flares. Uh, you'll need those to cap those fender flares off if you delete your running boards. They do cup holder inserts. They do OEM style uh, switch panels if you want to add switches or move switches around. Um, really awesome stuff. Now, because I kind of have an in with them, um, they printed me up this custom piece for my center console. Now they do have these available on their website. Um, he has other variants, single cup holders, you know, multiple switches, different variants available. And I was able to get them to print this one off for me to my specifications. Um, but I believe it is on their website available right now. Uh, speaking of which, all of November, 20% off uh, Blue Dog Work Design Works website. So of course I will link that down below. Head on over there. They've got a lot of awesome stuff for 470s, 460s. Um, you're definitely going to want to check out some of their accessories. Now, um, I've already got my center console torn apart. We're going to jump in there and take a look. I can tell you um, there's lots of videos on how to tear these consoles apart, but the instructions that come with um, are really, really good. There's pictures, lots of explanations. You're really just going to need a pry tool, like a plastic uh, trim tool would be uh, Beneficial, you can probably use your fingers or a screwdriver, but, and a Phillips head screwdriver. So it's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and hop in there, um, get this installed, and um, yeah, I cannot wait. All right, I've got the console torn apart. You're gonna start off by unscrewing your shift knobs. Uh, you can just unscrew those by hand. That's literally how they come off. You'll have to unzip the shifter boot uh, for the uh, e-brake and pull that up and kind of start uh, working that boot up from there. You'll need your plastic pry tool to pry up the trim panel on both uh, sides of the console. Just start at the back, those pop up and out. Um, and then the whole centerpiece um, will start to come up. Just kind of work your way around. Um, you may need to shift, um, make sure you've got your, well, your e-brakes on, make sure it's working or block your tires. You might need to put your four-wheel drive shifter in neutral. It just kind of depends on how, um, testy your shift boots are going to be trying to get them up. There is probably going to be some wire uh, harnesses clipped to the bottom of that panel that you might have to pop off. You'll notice down there, can you see I have my switches um, buried underneath uh, inside the console because I do have Bilstein shocks now, so I don't need the button for the control for the shocks, but I do still have my airbags, and so I still have it all hooked up, and I just tuck it underneath there. Um, yeah, it's kind of a mess, and I hope to have a solution for that um, sometime over the winter and into the spring, because I don't plan on getting rid of my airbags anytime soon. Um, the downhill, what is it, downhill ascent control the DAC switch um, I have up there um, because if you've seen my other videos you'll know that I took my auxiliary um, input and I just uh, got an aftermarket one and drilled it into the dash up underneath the uh, ashtray there so that I could put that switch there and have um, plenty of room for cup holders. Let's go ahead and transfer that panel over and get it installed. All right, I've got the panel out and I've already got the cup holder panel installed. Uh, I just wanted to touch on a couple things real briefly with you guys. Um, when you pull the original wood trim panel out, there's some screws on the top, the bottom, some clips. There uh, probably is a wiring harness clipped into place. Just take your time, unclip it. Uh, it's incredibly easy to do. Um, the shift boot for the four wheel drive shifter is held into place with just um, like four clips that are on the panel. They'll be on the new panel as well. Um, and the shift boot is actually like 
asymmetrical. So if you're trying to put it in one direction and it doesn't seem to be lining up, flip it uh, 180 degrees and um, it should fit in there. I have that problem every single time I mess with one of these. Um, on this one and the other ones that have the single cup holder on the website is the cup holder itself comes out. Um, it's held in by friction. You can pop it out so that you can um, wash it, clean it, get some crud in there. You can dump it out. Mine, um, you may have noticed already, I put some off-brand dyno mat uh, on the bottom. What I noticed when I was running my homemade cup holders for those couple years is that trans tunnel generates quite a bit of heat. Um, never enough to you know, be a problem. I've had it, you know, in the middle of summer, 100 and, you know, 10 degrees outside or whatever with a can of pop in the center console. And yes, you know, the can gets a little bit warm on the bottom. If you've got some extra uh, jute padding, that fiber padding material that's like under your car carpet, um, that stuff is like non-reactive and it is good for all temperatures. I put some of that on top of my trans tunnel and I put some of this dyno mat. Um, I can say that the bottom of the Blue Dog cup holder is way thicker um, than the uh, bottom of the cup holders that I was using. So it's probably not gonna be um, that much of an issue, but I just wanted to point it out because uh, it's really cool. So we've got uh, lots of room for different size of cups. And you may have noticed these other two um, holes that are on there. Those were um, my wife's idea. Uh, one is for chapstick and one is for an ink pen. Brilliant, uh, if you ask me. Um, and they are in different depths. Um, one's deeper for the ink pen and one's more shallow for the chapstick. So uh, just really nice attention to detail from Blue Dog. So let's go ahead, pop this back in here and um, get it installed in the car. Boom, installed. Man, it is so good. Guys, I'm gonna throw some cups in there and we'll talk about that in a second, but the fit and finish is so good on this panel. It looks so awesome. Um, I'm gonna jump over, put some uh, stuff in the cup holders, and I'm going to address something uh, that somebody posted on my Instagram last week. All right, here we go. We've got it in there. You can see you've got the pen in there. We've got the chapstick in there. This is the water bottle that I use all the time. Take it on every road trip. We go on. I'm a creature of habit. That's the water bottle that I use, and it almost always sits up here. Somebody wanted to know, how much interference there was, like trying to get stuff in and out. Well, you can see my water bottle fits in there just perfect. Um, and again, Lexus never intended cups to go here. So, you, you know, you take the good with the bad, you get in there what you can. Um, and then when I put it here, when it's in park, it does hit that a little bit. Um, but I should have grabbed a coffee cup, I guess. Um, but that there coffee cup here, these are almost in the exact same spots as my original kind of cobbled together one was. I, I have no problems getting stuff in and out of there. No, you can't open the ashtray, but you know, a lot of cars have interference stuff like that just from the factory um, anyway. But I am so happy. Um, it looks like factory quality. Um, if you're curious, my four wheel drive shift knob that I've got down there, there's a rubber shift knob from a Sequoia. Those fit on there and it's the correct um, high-low arrangement. So just a quick tip for you there. Anyway, well that pretty much wraps it up. A uh, little overview of the Blue Dog Design Works center console panel and a quick overview of how to install it. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comment section down below or email me, hawkeyeskunkworks at gmail.com if you're having any problems getting it in or out or whatever. And of course, you can always contact them uh, directly. I will also link uh, their Instagram along with their website. And remember, the whole month of November, 20% off uh, their website. Go check it all out. Get some awesome products for your 470 or your 460. So if you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe, turn those notifications on, give the video a thumbs up. And until the next video drops, thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.